please welcome Rebecca Gayhart. Did you meet Bow Wow? I did. That's the first thing I did. I, I bought three CDs before coming here. We yeah. stopped at Tower Records, and I ran back and got them autographed. Oh, really? Yeah. You're a big rap fan? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? I love rap. All, all of it? No, um, I like Heavy D and Cypress Hill and Eric B and Rakim. Oh, and... you know the stuff, then. I'm not <laughs> I'm not as well-versed. Like, LL Cool J, Around the Way Girl, uh -huh. is that, that's rap, that's right? That's a great song. That's where, that's, yeah, that's... I just like great songs, and I stop. You know, you I don't go. listen to all that other stuff. But, <laughs> but he seems cool. Bow wow. Yeah. Um, I could I could see you dancing to hip hop, Craig. A lot of, you know, you, you you laugh, you mock, but Kilborn can dance. And uh, <laughs> I, on occasion, I have to do that later. I don't want to hurt my back or pull anything. Uh, I understand. I didn't last time, did I accidentally call you Becky? Uh, yeah. And you wanted to hit me, or what? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so why is that? It's just... Uh, well, I heard you call me Becky also. I'm sorry. In the introduction. I was going to give you some hell about that. Yeah. But, uh, to call me Becky, you have to know me for at least 15 years. Oh. I have to like you. Oh, that's not... Okay. <laughs> and I have to be in a pretty good mood. Okay, so then I, none of, I, I struck out. I like three. you, and I'm in a good mood, but you haven't known me for 15 okay. years. Okay, okay, so maybe I look forward to that. Becky, 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 in 15 years. Craigie, Craigie, Craigie. Yeah, no, in 15 years, I'll be saying that. Uh, no, it is irritating, because Rebecca's a pretty name, and then Becky would be somewhat of a... Si of the yes, name. a bastard, yeah. yeah, a bad name. Won't happen again. Thanks. Um, <laughs> sure. Now, this Harvard man, I don't even know how to... It's tough to describe. You want to you take a shot at it? Um, yeah. Well, I t I'll tell you about my character first. Okay. I play a FBI agent who is undercover as a bookie, mm -hmm. um, who is a little twisted and enjoys three ways. That is... <laughs> that's my character. Yeah. So that's... She's only comfortable in a, in a three-way situation. Well... Three ways, four ways. Oh, that's... <laughs> so when you read this and you said, this role was made for me, or I want to try, I want to try this role. No, I said I want to try this role. Right. Yeah. And then how complicated is the actual plot of the movie? Um, well, it's a little complicated, I guess. It's uh, about this guy at Harvard who experiments with LSD and has a bad trip and hears voices and fixes a basketball game and then we go bust him. It's, you know. Yeah. And you you went to the it's premiere. Scooby Dooby Doo ish sometimes. Yeah. And, and you went to the premiere, and who you were sitting next to somebody who was. Yeah. Who, who was that? Uh, a friend of mine uh -huh. who will uh, remain nameless. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he uh, related to the LSD aspect of the movie. He had he had actually tried it. It was bringing back memories of hearing voices. But then he leaned over about an hour into the movie and was like, "It's a little over the." He was critiquing. Really like he was yeah. critiquing the acting of the acid trips. He was. He was. Yeah. 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 He was. Good friend to have. He is. He yeah. Is, you know. Because I want to know if they're authentic on the screen. Otherwise, I'm walking and out. Me too. And you know, I've never done LSD, so I didn't know. I was watching it believing. Either of mine. I am so clean. I'm boring. Yeah, me too. I'm uh, pure. Now I, I don't even drink <laughs> vodka anymore. I, now it's just a little red wine, and I fall asleep like that. I've got you beat. I don't even have caffeine anymore. Oh really? Yeah. Aren't you? Wow, healthy. <laughs> uh, what is what is uh, me and Daphne? Oh, me and Daphne. That's a little short film that I directed. Oh, director. Yep. Aren't you versatile? Yes, I am. Yeah, and and how was it? How did you find it directing? Was it um, difficult? It it was great. I mean, it wasn't difficult. It was amazing. It was so much fun. I've been wanting to do it for a long time, and uh, it's a really funny movie. I think. Uh huh. You haven't watched it, have you? No, I don't get all the films. I'm still waiting. <laughs> I haven't even seen Like Mike yet. Oh, okay. Uh, so I have to see all that these. That makes me feel better. Yeah. Uh, but did this, did you win something already for this? I did. I did. I won this uh, award called the Directorial Debut Award. Uh huh. And I was very happy to get it. Although I had to go up on stage after Anthony Hopkins. And then what do you say? After what do you do? Sir Anthony yeah, Hopkins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was sort of pathetic. He was like giving these like great quotations and speeches and saying all these wonderful enlightening things and I go up I'm like hi thanks oh. <laughs> Please, yeah. too much pressure yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have a birthday coming up I do and I won't ask you how old you are but how, how you celebrate is it a big to do um it has been in the past but um 
Well, I don't know what I'm doing for my birthday this year. Mm -hmm. I may not celebrate, or I may celebrate, but right. not in L.A. Why is that? Because I, I have had sort of bad luck with birthdays in L.A. What happens? Uh, well, last year, my friends threw me this big party. Friends um, will do that. Yes, they do that yeah. sometimes if they like you. Right. <laughs> and uh, I got there, and everyone was gone. Uh-huh. I was four hours late to my own party. Why would you do that? Well, I didn't choose to do that. Yeah. There was just the events of the day. There was traffic on the way home, and then, right. you know, my mom was staying with me. I think we lost the car keys, and then the baby's crying because we're babysitting my nephew. And right. Four hours just the cat ran away. Yeah, four hours is a long time. That's, <laughs> yes, that's, I had to get ready. <laughs> that's beyond That's beyond rude. That's really... Did you call ahead? My friends still love me. Do they? Yeah. Are these the ones that do the acid trip things? No, no, no. no. Well, you Not those friends. But you called ahead, right? Uh, I called a few times yeah. within the four hours, yeah. yeah. But they ate the food. They had a great time. They took photos and left them on the table for me. All right. <laughs> So you may go out of town this year and celebrate. I might, yeah. I, mean, I just make a suggestion. Um, um, go up the coast. Uh -huh. uh, Carmel, very beautiful up there. By myself? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I may be up there at the same time. Who knows? I mean, it might be one of those things. Imagine that. It could happen, yeah. Wow. All right, Harvard Man is open opened in New York City and Hartford, Connecticut is the information I have here. Oh. And it opens later across the country this summer. Nice to see you again. Thanks, Craig. Rebecca Gayhart. Be right back.